Hey there, welcome to Lara Fund. My name is William. In this video series, we are going to talk about how to build a real-time chat application. And I'm going to use Laravel Livewire, Tailwind CSS, of course, MySQL as the database. Then we will be touching on events. We will be touching on Laravel broadcasting. And then we will also touch on uh, how to configure and use Socket for our real-time events. So let us go ahead and install Laravel uh, Fresh application. I'm going to run the command composer create project. The name of our application, I want to call it live chat. This command will install for us Laravel. Our Laravel application is fully installed. I would like to hop into that directory. We call it live chat. And then I would like us to, let me just clear terminal. I would like us to install Laravel Breeze, which will be able to create for us a nice authentication. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just run the command composer require Laravel Breeze hyphen hyphen dev. After installing Breeze, I'm going to just clear terminal again. And I'm going to run the command php artisan breeze install. And as you can see, we are having a prompt of what it is that we want to do. So we can choose blade with Alpine, Livewire Vault, the class API, Livewire Vault, the functional API. And then we have also React View and API only. And since I am intended to use Livewire, I think I'm going to just choose the class API. So in this case, I'm just going to type here live wire. It's asking us for dark mode. I do not need that one. And then the testing framework, I'm going to choose best, even though we will not do anything on testing. And that command will lead to the installation of live wire and vault in our application. Next, we will open our app in VS Code Studio. I would like to set in our env file, .env, the environment file. I want to set the name of our database to live chat and save. I'm going to open uh, my XAMPP control panel. I will start both Apache and MySQL. After that, I want to go to terminal and then be able to run our migration. So I open new terminal. Inside here, I'm going to run php artisan migrate which you ask us whether we have that we do not have the database and so i'm going to just click here such that the database will be created for us after that i will run the command npm install and then finally npm run dev to compile our assets and then to run our laravel application i'm going to run the command php artisan serve our laravel application is running on port 8000 and so I will just type in localhost 8000. And now you can see we have login and register above here. I want us to create some fake users to seed our database with some users. So I'm going to open database seeders, database seeder. And inside here, I want to uncomment the first line and save. After that, I will run the command php artisan db seed to seed the 10 users in our database. I would like to visit our database and just pick one of the users in existence and log in with their credentials. Our database is called live chat. I'll click on it. And then since we have 10 users, I will click here to fetch one user. I will go back to our page and log in using our user that we have fetched. I've copied the email, so that is the email. And then the password is just password for the seeded users. That is how it is set by default. So when I click login, as you can see, we are actually logged in to our Livewire application. I would like to just take you through some of uh, the folders that we have here. I would like us to go to resources. And inside here, I want us to go to views. So you can see Breeze has created for us very many components here that we can be able to use as we progress. And then we also have layouts. 
So we have the app layout and we have the guest layout. The difference is when we are logged in, this is the app layout. And then there was a layout that we were seeing before we were logged in. So that one is the guest layout. And then we also have dashboard dashboard.plate. It is um, the page that has the text you are logged in. And I believe you can be able to see it here. So that is our dashboard page. And we also have profile. When you look at it here, if we click here, you can see we have a link to profile. And if you click on it, you can be able to change some uh, information for our user. You can change the name and save. You can update the password. You can be able to also delete the account completely. After that, we have welcome.plate, which is uh, the default page that we have for Laravel. Then, of course, we have a folder called Livewire. And inside here, we have the layout, so the navigation layout. In this case, this one is a Vault component, so you can see it is uh, class-based. And then we, we have the slots and every other thing inside here. So it is the navigation that we have above here. So we have dashboard, then every other thing here. After that, we have pages. Confirm password, forgot password, login, dot blood, register, reset password, and so on and so forth. And those ones, you can be able to find them if we are logged out. So if we log out and we attempt to click register, you can see now we have the register page. We can click on already registered. You can see we have the login page. We can click on forgot password. We have the email reset uh, link and so on and so forth. So basically those are what we are having here. And then of course we have welcome. The welcome page has the navigation for register, login and dashboard. When you go to the first page, so if I go to just localhost 8000, this line that is up here is what we have here and it is added after we have been able to install Breeze because if you have not installed Breeze, it is not there by default. So basically, that is how our uh, Livewire application will look like and sort of the scaffolding of whatever it is that we are going to work with when we are creating our chat application. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about installation of um, Socket and then we will proceed step by step as we go to the other concepts. Thank you very much.